What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you another Let's Play today. I've got some more Hearts of Iron 4. This is the Kaiserreich mod. We are playing as Bulgaria. Last episode, we were working on building up our country, so we're going to continue. So we're working on uh, Black Monday weekends here, which is going to give me a little bit of a boost to production efficiency and factory output. So that'll be nice to have, right? So we either need to make, in order to go over here and get the extra manpower, victory in the Balkans... Um, we need to either control Serbia or have made them our puppet. So if I pause really quickly, I just want to make sure of something. SNS and RS. Okay, I think I have to control the country in order to get that. Let's double check it though, because it's saying the NIS. NIS. Serbia, SNS. What in the hell is the the NIS? T L D A. Well, we're working towards invading them, so it should be something. Hmm. I'm sure we could figure it out though once we get there. All right, let's unpause it here again. New national focus time. So. Examine the economy here. Add one building slot to civilians. Add one building slot to militaries. We're going to examine the economy here. Because we are down to four civilian factories at this point. And how many building slots do I have available? Quite a few. So we have time to build military factories a little bit later. I would started out with some decent military factories at seven. Okay. And now we're looking at still saving up some political power to upgrade that. Support equipment research is finished, so that's nice to have. We can swing back around and try to grab something else. For example, um, August of 36. We could start on land doctrines or do this little artillery upgrade. Let's do that. Helps my soft attack, 137 days. And studying the... Uh, National Focus Tree here a little bit further. Black Monday Recovery is coming next, so that's good. Targeting funding down here adds civilian factories. Again, reform the economy. Remove the national spirit of Black Monday crash. Okay. So that's uh, what we need to get down towards first is what I'm thinking. And then we'll start heading down here. Canadian Commonwealth declared war on Denmark. Holy shit. So we're up to 12% world tension now. Uh, that 15% magic number is good, would allow us to technically start, um, you know, making adjustments to our economy and such, and that type of deal. Artillery there, starting to stockpile that, so that's good. Want to make sure we have got lots of extra guns as well. So with that new research, let's go ahead and plug in here for a nice first support equipment. So we'll move that up. We've already got aluminum in the bank here in our country, so that's good. No template. We're just going to start stockpiling them, like I said. United States declared war on combined syndicates of America. So we've, we're now starting to see the split of America. Examine the economy is finished. Okay. Uh, combined syndicates of America declared war on American Union State. And American Union State declared war on the United States. Very cool. All right, American-born Bulgarian scientist John Atasanov asked for shelter after escaping the Civil War, which ravages America. He said the ongoing Civil War prevented him from progressing further in his work on creating a computer-calculating machine. Yes. We're going to spend the political power. We get that bonus to the electronics research there. Pacific States of America declared war on the United States. That's cool. Black Monday recovery here. Let's start. Syndicate, uh, uh, syndicalist up rising in Manila out there in the Philippines. Let's go take a quick look at America. Democracy prevails. Yeah, look at that. Pretty nuts looking, right? That's really nuts looking. Starting to slowly accumulate manpower now. 
we need to make sure we've got at least a little bit of a reserve, if we're, especially if we're going to be going in and invading Serbia here. I've only seen two divisions on their border here with us. And so if I go back here, they are reporting in between 5 and 11 total. Let's take this guy and actually assign him here. Okay. Perfect. He's saying he definitely has the advantage there as well. Support weapons research is done. Concentrated industry level one is finished. So 36, November of 36 here still. We're still working on that artillery piece. We could try to plug in here for some support equipment. Um, motorized. Let's get the motorized research done because I do want to be able to research out field hospital. This one here with the uh, recon breakthrough hurts reconnaissance one training time organization. It helps organization quite a bit. This one here, it's going to help hit points, training time, defense. It helps recovery rate and breakthrough and entrenchment and organization. So let's start off with the engineering company here because I think we're good on industry. Well, shit. We need to come back and get the mechanical computing machine here eventually as well, but that's all right. Continuing on here at full speed ahead. Black Monday recovery is almost finished up. Targeted funding is gonna follow. So I've gone all civilian here. We're up to five civilian factories now. Look at all the civilian factories um, tied up now in consumer goods. So I'll just have to wait for that to sort of pop out. Albania here. Currently a puppet of the Ottomans. So that would put me to war with the Ottomans. We gotta keep that in mind. Black Monday recovery is finished. Okay, uh, let's go targeted funding next. So to get those two extra civilian factories, I think that'll be good. We have no current national decisions to worry about. We do need to boost our popularity here eventually is what I'm thinking. About to hit this though. Sweet, we can now modify the government. So world tension sitting at 13%, so not quite there in order for us to make a change. Very good stability here. That might be the, the way to go. High party popularity. Okay. We've got to wait to get, uh, you know, some additional volunteer only limited conscription, extensive conscription here. We have to be at war for that one, of course. So we've got to wait there. Civilian economy, etc. Yeah, let's go ahead and go from good stability up to very good here since we don't have enough world tension, although something could pop off soon. Maybe we maybe we just stockpile it here for the time being. All right, back over here now, and max factories in a state, construction speed. Let's go up with the, uh, the better improved machine tools there. It's gonna help out our production lines quite a bit. Yeah, sweet. Are there any other national focuses that would help out our manpower? It does not look like it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. The Fourth Balkan War here. Targeted funding is done. Reform the economy. So we're going to get this nasty Black Monday crash removed. Seven civilian factories now. Liberation Day. Cool. It's our anniversary for Liberation Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, looking over here now. Dockyards, we could queue up some of those. Or military factories. I think I actually want to concentrate on um, queuing up some military factories next after that. March of 37 here now. And what was the time? I think it was October here. Serbia is a faction leader. This focus will cancel. Okay. The war over in China coming to a close. Political power plus 50. Call to arms. Reform the economy. Call to arms here. Ah, look at that nice, juicy, recruitable population percentage of 5% there. So that's 
that's going to help out so much. So what then uh, I do feel comfortable in training up. Let's actually give them two new infantry divisions. We'll put them in the capital there. So they're going to start training up. So we can add them to our front lines there eventually. Because he's sitting there 10% currently done. So he's going to need that. Uh, 19 days left here on the engineering company. So after engineers finish out, our popularity is rising. Yeah. We'll spend the political power there. Nice. Reform the economy is done. So. Come back up here now. Very good. Let's go ahead and now that we've stockpiled a little bit of political power. Oh, Spain currently undergoing a revolution. Export focus there. Civilian economy could go to early mobilization. Do, 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 do. Engineer company one is finished. Motorized is done. Okay. High popularity, good, very good stability here. Helps out even more. National unity plus 15%. Factory output plus 10%. That's big. All right, let's go ahead and take it. Okay, nice. Still sitting at 11 in world tension right now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and research the field hospital. Very nice. We should also start working on these other indust industrial techs. So those are going to come out. Improved machine tools is about to finish as well. Done there. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab the construction level two, of course. Belgrade Congress argues for a new order in the Balkans. It's May 1937, guys. So on the initiative of Serbia, several countries have convened in Belgrade to discuss the political and military situation in the Balkans. During this Congress, a new military alliance was founded. The so-called Belgrade Pact is clearly aimed against us out of revenge of their loss in the First World War. We can only hope our former Central Power allies will support us in this crisis. So... That changes things, right? Because then, now we're looking at Greece and Serbia. So, Purple Group is going to come off of Romania. And you guys are going to chill down here. Uh, let's go ahead and delete your frontline order like this. And all of these Purple Groups here, you're going to be now assigned down here towards Greece. Like that. Alright. So, stack up on the line there. Oh my god. Here we go. Hold on a second, boys. An ultimatum from the Belgrade Pact has arrived in Sofia. They're demanding that we hand over the territories we seized during the uh, First World War. The members of the Belgrade Pact are threatening us with a war if we refuse. We can ignore the ultimatum. Or we could give in to the demands and give up territory. We will not give up territory. So they've declared war on us here. Let's go ahead and move the fleet out. Uh, search and destroy here in the Eastern Mediterranean. So hopefully, damn, this is crazy. Okay, fighters, uh, you guys are gonna guard the Eastern Balkans here. Tactical bombers are gonna work on close air support for us since we have a nice little stockpile of those. So far it's just Serbia. So I can go ahead and tell then these guys to go ahead and activate. We're going to run out of manpower, potentially, if we do this. So the war has already gotten to us. I need to get down to Call of Arms to get that additional manpower, but we are at war, so... Let's go to Extensive Conscription. Okay, we can't get up to that right now because they have to be 50% more powerful than I in order to do something about it. Okay, so Teal Group is executing the Fourth Balkan War. National Focus is finished, and Greece has joined in as well. 
So purple group just arriving on the scene here for the first time. We have like no organization because we we're just moving in there. We may give up some territory through this. Uh, low manpower, of course, right? Now I can go extensive conscription. Here we go. 205k now in manpower, so that's awesome to see. We're going to add another two trainings into this. I need to pop out these two divisions immediately to have them help against the Greeks. There we go. All right, let's unpause. So we're off and fighting, guys. Production-wise now, um, delivering new guns up to the front as well as artillery. German Empire announces support for us. The government has announced today that they will support Bulgaria in the case of war between us and the Belgrade Pact. Whether this will be limited to arms deliveries or that the German Empire will intervene with their army remains unclear, but we hopefully will keep them uh, from declaring war. Okay. So here's what we're going to do now. Uh, we're just going to start gaining army experience here pretty quickly. We're going to need to boost up the production of support equipment like that, for sure. Missing equipment production now. Fighters, yep. Oh, man. So they're already starting to move in on us here. German Empire refuses to help us. Damn. The government has declared they cannot help us in the ongoing conflict between Bulgaria and the Belgrade Pact. This is a major outrage. We will not forget this. All right, so Purple Group is going to move around here accordingly. Um, I'm not seeing a ton of divisions, honestly, here. So uh, Purple Group then, offensive line order down here towards Athens. That's how you guys are going to roll. <clears throat> Won a naval battle down here, completely decimating the Greek Navy down there. So that's awesome to see. We did probably, yeah, we had to come home for some repairs, but that's fine. These two units, you guys move forward like this. I'm going to try to micro that a little bit. All of my... Serbia asks for peace. Ha! Huh. Were there a succession in the Balkan War and our armies close to Belgrade, the pact that was founded in the city is on the verge of collapse. Serbia has approached us with a peace offer. Several border provinces will be demilitarized. The Belgrade Pact will be dismantled, and Serbia will pay us. In return, we will allow them to keep their independence. No, they shall be crushed. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to refuse their offer there. We're going to continue to move in. That could be a mistake. I don't know. We'll see. These three divisions are going to mount an attack going this way. How are we looking up here now? Starting to come up to some resistance for sure, right? Need to let that organization sort of help out there. Uh, Logistics-wise, how many support equipment? We have 111. Thanks, Ottoman Empire. Thanks, guys. All right, let's go ahead and put in an engineering company here, like that. So we're going to be missing, of course, a lot of support equipment up at the front, but that's fine, because we just bolstered up yeah, our support equipment production there. Let's actually move this down by one, like this. Okay. We gotta we have to quickly get some support equipment through the lines there. The yeah, the field hospital's got 142 days. Oh, nice. As they had promised, the government of the Ottoman Empire has sent us aid in the ongoing conflict. Troops and equipment arrive, so that's good to see. So I'm assuming that's where I, why I got these two here. So you guys are actually going to go up here to Serbia. Foreign Expeditionary Forces, yep. I'm doing okay against Greece right now. This guy can actually mount an attack going this way. It's going to actually show his green there to begin with. How are we doing in terms of overall casualties? I've lost 5k, they've lost 11 Purple group now telling me they could probably... Well, they're actually more like mid, midway matched there. Let's go ahead and deploy all of these divisions then. And I'm actually going to send you guys up to Serbia like this. They are green, so 
They're probably going to take it on the chin here, but at least I have more numbers working for us here. Down to 124k now in manpower. I, I'm itching to get that extra boost. That extra boost to manpower. Uh, oh, this is not good. Is the front line about to extend on me here? Yes, it is. Okay, so we need to redistribute. And for the time being, I'm actually going to mount an attack there just to hold them up from VP rushing me. Okay, looking pretty good up there. Lessons. Yes, lessons are finished. Equipment development next. Still training with the Russians, so I still have decent overall um, civilian factories here. Resources. Downfall and stability. Son of a gun. Okay, he's had to retreat out of there. Some of these other guys need to go ahead and readjust here now. We're losing two provinces there. We sh Maybe we should have taken the peace deal, guys. It was looking very, very nice there to begin with. 16k versus 17k. I'm starting to lose men now. All right, this guy's going to come in like this, just to seal that off. Here come the other divisions now spreading across the line. So their lines are going to become thinner as well. These guys getting back into position now, which is good to see. Back over here, 1938, until we can actually... Uh, that's fine. Can these divisions make an attack here? They can. Man, oh man, this is nuts. Okay. How are we doing in the air war? Down in Greece, we're hurting, aren't we? I do have those bombers trying to help us out by air. And up at the front, what are we missing? Bunches and bunches of infantry equipment. Making 22 of those per day now. Making uh, 1.5 support equipments per day. The artillery there, we're losing about a half of those per day, but that's okay, because we've got a good stockpile going. Oh, nice, we're about to push back here. Go. This guy, go up this way. Let's see if we can encircle them somehow. Ah, he ran into an enemy there. Shit. These seven divisions running in from the side here. Playing defense down here in Greece. Continuing to play uh, defense, I should say. Bring that guy in to help out. Uh, these guys are not doing so well, so you guys can stop. Cool. Looking good. About to make another advance down here. Okay. So I need to tell one of you guys to stop and move down this way. He's going to retreat into enemy territory. That's funny. Green 97 now showing back up there, which is good. Not going to have any more divisions coming out here for a little while. We're still in civilian economy, too. The fleet has come back out into the Mediterranean here. Zero enemy ships present, so that's good. Syndicates. While the recent economic prosperity has increased the wage of the workers, the conditions in factories remain near unbearable. There are almost no regulations or laws which protect our workers' rights. This morning, factory workers went on strike in every major city and demanded that the ban on trade unions be removed. Son of a gun. I'm going to have to take it. Just because we're not in a good position here. We're fighting. Cool. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed my content. And we'll catch you next time.